Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bhagyashree. I hope you all are doing very well. So, all my foodies and bakers over there. In today's recipe, we'll see how to make this domino style wet zingi parcel. You can prepare this easily at home and you will just love it. I bet you. If you are new to my channel do subscribe and click this bell icon to get all the notifications. Let's get started. In a bowl here I am taking half cup of warm milk. It's warm milk guys not hot milk. Adding 1 teaspoon of sugar to it. Mix this until sugar is dissolved. We'll now add 1 teaspoon of dry yeast to it. Here I am taking instant dry yeast. Give it a good mix and we'll let it sit for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes you can see our yeast has proofed. If it hasn't proofed, do not use it. Now I'm adding 2 cups of maida to it. If you do not want to use yeast, then in that case you can use baking soda plus baking powder. Half teaspoon each. Now adding 1 teaspoon of salt. Here I am adding garlic bread mix, 1 tablespoon. If you do not have this, use chopped garlic instead. This is cheesy garlic mix. It adds very good flavor. Or you can use normal garlic flakes as well. You will get easily in the market. Adding 1 teaspoon of chili flakes. These spices are actual super ingredients of this whole recipe. So I recommend do not skip this. Now adding 1 teaspoon of oregano. Mix these well and once they are properly mixed just start kneading it. We need to knead this till we get the soft dough. For this we will be using milk. Here I am taking milk at room temperature. Add gradually and keep kneading it. So totally we'll be using one cup of milk in this process. So once we get the soft dough, we'll be now adding oil to it. Here I'm taking two teaspoons of oil. Knead till the oil is properly combined. Like it will take around a minute. Now we'll cover this with a cloth and let it rest for two hours. Meanwhile, let's prepare the stuffing. Here I'm adding 2 teaspoons of oil, adding half teaspoon of mustard. Once they crackle, I'll now add garlic cloves to it. I'm adding 6 garlic cloves. I have chopped into small pieces. Cook till garlic turns golden brown. We'll now add 2 onions. So once onion turns translucent, we'll now add 1 capsicum. So cook all these on medium flame. You can add any veggies of your choice. Even you can add sweet corn or cabbage. So once veggies are cooked properly, we'll now add 1 teaspoon of salt. Now I'm adding 1 teaspoon of chili flakes. So for that spiciness, we'll now add shizwan chutney. I'm adding 2 tablespoons of it. This also gives a good tangy flavor. Mix till the sauce is properly combined and the oil gets separated. At this point, we'll add 2 tablespoons of mayonnaise. Here I'm adding eggless mayonnaise. Give it a proper mix so that that mayonnaise and shizwan chutney combines very properly with all the veggies we added. This will take around 1 to 2 minutes. So at this point we will now add 1 teaspoon of oregano. So we will now add paneer cubes. I have taken half cup of paneer cubes. Mix this well and let paneer cook for 2 to 3 minutes in this mixture. This stuffing recipe can also be used when you want to make veg wrap or even for your paneer roll. You can see everything is combined so we'll now turn off the flame. Our stuffing is ready and after 2 hours let's see our dough. It has almost doubled in size. 
just give some punches so the air in it is released and just knead it for few seconds so this dough will be sufficient for 8 zingi parcels if you want like smaller ones then it will be around 10 zingi parcel i have made 8 balls out of it and will just start rolling them just flatten it in your palms and uh, start rolling them for dusting here i am taking maida roll it into medium sized and thickness also should not be very thin nor very thick and here i am taking some water and uh, placing it all over the sides this will help in sealing the sides now we'll fold the sides in a form of triangle the way i'm doing seal the sides properly so they don't get separated during baking so this is done we'll now add grated cheese now add the stuffing we prepared do make sure that you add it once the stuffing is cooled so now we'll add grated cheese again and we'll seal the ends use water again to seal the ends apply water on all the sides as i'm doing this shape really looks so good no idea who invented this but hats off to them it really looks so cute already similarly i'll prepare all the remaining zingi parcel so i'm taking a baking tray and lining it with a parchment paper I have preheated OTG for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. So I'll be placing all the zingi parcel on this baking tray. So you can cook this in kadhai as well. You just have to preheat for 10 minutes and cook for 20 minutes. And uh, before placing this in OTG, we need to apply milk. So milk helps in giving our zingi parcel that beautiful brown shade. Let's bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and again the time varies as per the oven. After 15 minutes our zingi parcel is ready. Cheese has come out from sides but that's completely okay and you can see the zingi parcel have baked properly. So at this point we'll now add melted butter. Here I'm using unsalted butter. So look at this they have this beautiful shade brown color and adding some chili flakes and oregano you can use peri peri or pizza mix anything of your choice so our zingi parcel is ready to be served they look so delicious and i can't wait to have them they are so cheesy super delicious just like domino style you can serve it with ketchup let me show you from inside these are like soft from inside and that stuffing and the cheesy structure it's just too good you can have it with mayonnaise as well i am going to have it right away you try it for yourself and just enjoy If you like this recipe give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye bye